Okay. Now I can say something? Now you can say something. There was a beep before the beep was The beep was the camera turning on. Well, you didn't specify. Don't look at me. Look at yourself. All right. Look at the loom, at least. <laughs> oh, poke me. <laughs> Quit being a nudge. <laughs> All right, so here you see a lot of the strings are loose. So you can tighten them up just by pulling on the ends like that. But you want to be careful tighten them and not tighten them too much because basically all you're doing is that this isn't super tight over here. So what you're doing is you're actually pulling the threads, you know, around the back beam tighter. Yeah. And so it takes a long time to do that by hand. You'll sit here tightening for hours. Trust me, I've done it. So the <laughs> easiest yeah. way, I think, to go about it is to, you know, make sure these are a little snug, not too snug because it's... They're too snug, they'll Pretty just get loose again. Pretty much as equal as you can get them, too. Yeah. Like this. And like, I try not to have my tails too long, you know, because if you're too long, you're going to waste a lot of time. But at least long enough to where they come over the end here and they lie down a little bit so they're easy to grab. Because if they keep falling down underneath it, then it's annoying. But, you know, you may have different preferences. But here, now that they're all kind of the same tension, I like to tighten the back beam. And then with that, I'll tighten the front beam a little bit. So actually, I'm tightening it around the beam. And so now these these don't, um, I'm not tightening each one individually. I tighten them all at the yeah. same time, which is a lot nicer. Another thing, another important thing, if you see the dowel right here, this bump right here is the dowel coming around. Try not to end with the dowel when you're wi when you're winding up your loom. You try not to end the dowel, it's right there. It's, it's right in there. You try not to end with the dowel on the top because then it raises the height. So when your loom goes down from the bottom part, it'll be, it won't go all the way to the bottom, you know, because yeah. it'll, it'll be higher up here. Same thing on this side as well. So you try to make sure that you can make this as flat as possible. I hear you can weave like 12 yards worth of stuff on here. This is 80 inches. Uh, um, so, you know, 144 inches, somebody said you can weave anywhere from 9 to 10 yards. But I have a feeling the more you weave, I mean, you technically you could weave until uh, your thread got there or your yarn got to the back uh, cross support right here. But what's going to happen is that's going to make this really big right here. And I'm not sure exactly how to keep the tension over 12 yards anyway. I think it would get really loose. But, um,. With that in mind, I don't think it would be a good idea because your back beam would be so high when you go to put your loom down like that, you're going to have a lot of problems. Just some insights into it. I don't know. I've never tried anything longer, I think, than a, I think I tried, what, maybe, maybe 100 or something? I think you may have done up to 90 inches or 100. I don't remember. Yeah, but this is one of my longer ones, so we're going to see how it keeps the tension all the way through. Like I say, I try not to end with that beam on top. So this feels pretty good. I'm going to go through and give them a last tighten. And then once I do that, I'm going to double knot it so they don't slip while I'm weaving. And hopefully it'll be done. But this takes a lot of time off of, you know, we could doing it, you know, tighten each one of these by hand. It's so annoying. And the loom will settle a little bit and the back threads will get tighter. You know, and so you get more more slack. But as long as you try to keep it as even as possible, you can just turn the crank and it'll all be good again. Mm. <laughs> that's the idea. But, I mean, you know. It's like a little house. Oh, is that what it looks like? Kind of. Not really. Not, not at all, actually. I'm just... I have nothing else to say. Oh, you're trying to contribute. I've, I'm trying to contribute. See, now, one thing that, that you got to be careful is this loose thread right here. Yeah. Now, anytime you end on a loose thread, and you have 32 inch limbs, so it won't be, but, but basically, if you were to end on some of the thread like right here, this, this has a lot of give in it usually, and so if you're ending on that, make sure the, all the passes going in this direction don't pull this into the, the loom because it's really easy to pull your edges in. See right here, it's a little bit harder when they're at a slot to pull your edges in. But if you're ending here, this could easily go in like that, and then it just looks funny. 
to me it looks fun. Some people don't care. Some people just like to, you know, they weave so much, you know, they don't care about their edges and what. I care about my edges personally. He's very proud of his edges. I have good edges. You should see my edges. My first project I will do is <laughs> just for, because I heard your edges can get pulled in and then I realized, well, you know, maybe not that much. Alright, so I'm testing it, seeing how it is. Things about where I want it. I'm going to go through one more pass. Make sure I got it all. I want it. I'm trying to travel the same distance every time. It shakes the table. I'm leaning on the table. <laughs> Do you see how the knots are sliding off? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably better to put it sort of in your view angle. No, I think I did this in a previous video. I have a previous video of this? Yeah, when remember you had only put three on either side? And you were showing how to tighten them like that? Because I don't know why. Oh, uh, was proud of it, I don't know. Because maybe you thought I wasn't going to record this part, I don't know. Probably. Probably you were recording and I thought you were taking a picture. Like you do sometimes even to yourself. <sighs> Love you. Mm -hmm. so I'm just going to knot it again. It's One thing you'll find out about weaving, it's a lot of knots. I mean, I know crochet and knitting is basically tying knots all the time, but this is actually not knots. Well, not, not, not. <laughs> <laughs> not comma not. Yeah. It's it's not um it's not uh, I don't know how to say it. It's not knots. It's it's knots that you actually tie by hand individually. Yes. As opposed to knots that are made by how you. Move so things. real knots and not knots. I'm not continuing this conversation. <laughs> I too many knots. I told you there were a lot. What? You give me that look. She should record her own face so you can see this look. No, I shouldn't. Do it, do it. I've tried recording my face before and I always like get only half of my face or I get a very strange angle of my face or because your face is huge. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's not kidding. <laughs> He's just being mean, and he's trying to make it sound like he's being... Sick. I'm kidding! I'm never mean to you. <laughs> Ever! Call the other one that's got bells on. <laughs> he said it had bells on. 